Greetings, white positive people, Blue Ninja, fellow apostle for white well being here. Tuesday, March 23rd. Hope everybody is doing good, staying strong. And uh, just wanted to make a quick comment on. Uh, the uh, shooting that supposedly happened in Colorado I haven't looked into the news stories I just saw some of them um, so I don't know the details but I saw one picture of them apprehending a white guy and I saw another uh post about how there was a lot of false claims about blaming some white people for this so I don't know one way or the other but you don't really need to know <laughs> you don't really even need to read stories like this in my opinion um, because we, we know we already know before from the get go what the conclusion is going to be. It's going to be anti-white. And because the media, people that run our country, are anti-white. So they're always going to be looking for an excuse to harm white people more. Uh, so one way or the other, whether it's fabricated or there's any little bit of truth in it, they're always going to come to an anti-white conclusion their conclusion is going to be it's white people's fault therefore all white people must be harmed more and erased more not because of anything that happens not because of any thing any truth or anything based on reality as we know it's just because they hate white people they are anti-white that's it so <clears throat> based on the little bit that I've seen about this Colorado thing I think I think stuff like this <clears throat> or just any story that's used to come to an anti-white conclusion and as an excuse to harm whites more as we know anti-white media they can completely fabricate things I mean they don't need sometimes they don't even need a shred uh, of anything to work off of sometimes they can just and they will just completely fabricate things I'm not saying this was fabricated I don't know but um, they will go to any lengths and use any means including just completely making stuff up as excuses and pretext to harm and whites more um, so if there is something that, that happened like it looks like in this case then they will of course contort things as necessary for them uh, and exaggerate things uh, etc to uh, to come to anti-white conclusions um, so basically it's usually it's one of the two it's either they're completely making stuff up or there's a little something that did happen and they'll exaggerate it uh, amplify it contort it, twist it around so that it's basically they can twist the story to be pretty much the opposite <laughs> of what it actually is uh, if they want to go you know if they want to and in many cases they do so <clears throat> in my opinion we don't even need to know all the details uh, if it could have been that 
maybe there was a white man that did some small thing, whatever it may have been, it's going to be exaggerated. If, if a white person does do something against the law, whether it's small or big, even if it's very small, it will be exaggerated to the point where that is like a national threat. <laughs> if a white person shoplifts something, for example. I mean, so if there is some little smidgen there, they will just take it and massively over-exaggerate it. Um, I saw a, a little thing where apparently Biden is considering executive action and then some other politicians who are definitely anti-white and probably at least a few of them are tiny hats are really advising that, you know, action needs to be taken against this threat or whatever happened in Colorado. So they're just, they sound all the alarms and treat it like it's some big threat uh, because the media and the powers that be are anti-white. So could have been some little small thing, then it gets way over exaggerated. And they will just use that as, as an excuse to come down with full force to the fullest extent of the law and more on white people as a whole. Um, and sometimes there's just nothing that happens. Or there's just something so small and they twist it around so much that it becomes like a fabricated story. That happens too. A lot, as a lot of us know. So, I don't know the details on this particular one, but I think it's fair to say, without even <laughs> reading the details, I can guarantee, as we all probably can, that it's just an excuse to harm white people more. And it could have been totally staged. I would not be surprised if it was totally staged. In fact, my money would be on the, I would bet that it was planned and staged and any white person who may have done something illegal could have very well been put up to it and paid to do it and that kind of thing these things are staged and put on all the time as a lot of us know so just as a story to say look the media will jump on that and say look what happened we need to harm whites more so we know that's the drill um, all the time. And uh, this is what we would call a hate hoax uh, from uh, Jason Kuna going free. Learn that. We call it a, a hate hoax because it's just anything that is blaming whites uh, much more than what needs to be um, framing whites wrongfully and that kind of thing is uh, those are hate hoaxes so this could be a big you know looks to be looks to me like a big hate hoax uh, and uh, just framing whites just making up stuff as excuses to harm whites more that's all now they may treat it like we're you know enemy number one and in, and in a sense we kind of are. That's why the establishment goes after us. Uh, because we, we are, even though we don't have much power, and we are the most oppressed and kept down, um, in reality, we are victims. But, um, but in, on the other hand, at the same time, we, we kind of are their biggest threat, threat in a way. Uh, to the establishment, the anti-white establishment. So we're still, you know, um, got a ways to go. We don't have a whole lot of power, but um, even still, uh, we we still are their biggest threat uh, because we are the ones who can eventually pose a significant enough threat to depose the anti-white regime um, and that's why they treat us with such ex such severity 
because they know that if we continue to grow, then we will uh, depose and overthrow their hideous, horrible anti-white regime. Um, and the other reason, of course, they do this stuff is they simply hate whites. <laughs> it's that, and they recognize that we can be a threat if we continue growing. So they're wrong on all counts, and we are right on all counts. So just a little quick take on that. I've uh, been a uh, little bit under the weather this past day or two. Um, ate some bad food. <laughs> some bad truck style food. Um, anyhow, um, I'm feeling uh, a lot better now. I'm on the up and up. Uh, and uh, just got to recover. Just got to recover my strength fully. Uh, but just wanted to... Uh, to come with that quick little tidbit there and say that I will see you all soon as usual stay strong stay white positive stay white proud and protective love you all dearly God bless each and every one of you let's keep going free and recapturing our destiny